I have signed a legend in the world of football. Look at him, absolute hero. Everything's going down, but don't worry, I'm going to turn it around with my rigorous training routine. Gary O'Neill, welcome to Bayern Munich. Absolute bargain for £185,000 from Norwich. He's played one game for me in the league and one cup game. Phenomenal. Uh, George is very pleased. I was looking at players and uh, he said, Gary O'Neill, he looks a bit like a cat. So that's why I've gone for him. Yeah, George regularly converses with me, of course. Okay, so uh, he's the assistant. So, you know, he's, he's meant to give me advice on signing. Anyway, welcome to episode six of this Bayern Munich series, where it's now February 2016. I'm playing Dortmund today and the first leg of my Champions League first knockout round. So exciting times today. But you can see here lots of transfer activity for me in January. You can see I sold Iron Robin for 21.5 million, possibly rising to 27.5 million, to Barcelona. Both them and Real Madrid put it in a bid. He's obviously an exceptional player, and he did sort of start to come good towards the end of uh, his time here, the last couple of games. He did score. Oh, George is off. He's had enough. He, he's, I think he's probably disappointed that Robin left, but I, I managed to talk him round because he's old. He, he's 31. No, 32 now. And to sell him for that amount of money is pretty ridiculous, really, considering his age. And I've got a young team. I'm building a young team. So that's why I decided to get rid of him. Coming into the team, of course, the star man, Gary O'Neill. But then we've got a wonder kid, Anta Koric, who has a four-star potential, which is incredible for this level. Um, it, he'd be up there with, you know, Thomas Muller uh, as an attacking midfielder. Or, or Goetz, better than Goetz, potential to be better than Goetz. A Croatian wonder kid, signed for 15 million, which sounds a lot, but he, he's a, a star. Uh, to be honest, I might not obviously benefit from him long term if I, if I don't continue the series for very long, but I want to sign some young players. Uh, that's why Jedvac, another Croatian wonder kid, uh, centre back or right back, has come into the team. Probably will be uh, Larm's backup at right back. A lot of money. Yes, I know, but I think he could be a star player for me going forwards. Perhaps towards the end of the season he'll get a bit of game time. George has wandered back in. Berahino, 30 million, which is a lot of money, but he's a good striker on the game. And he will basically be back up for Lewandowski or could play on the right wing. I've got so many attacking options. Looking at the team, it's really strong. Lots of strength and depth. Lots of wonderful young players in the team as well. But with that spine of Neuer... Boateng, Lam, Alaba, Vidal, Alonso, Muller, Goetze, Douglas Costa, Lewandowski. You've got those established, wonderful, world-class players. And we really should be challenged for, challenging for every single title now going forwards. So since the last episode, which was a while ago now, it was the game against Galatasaray and Wolfsburg. We then beat Freiburg 2-0 in the Cup, the German Cup. Robin with a goal and Alaba with a goal before beating... Stuttgart 3-0, very good win this one. I can't, I'm sure there was a really good goal at some point in one of these games. We then played a couple of friendlies. Robin actually scored a hat-trick on his last game for the club. I think it was his last game for the club. I might be wrong. But anyway, uh, he scored a hat-trick in that friendly. We beat Framberg, uh, Hamburg, Framberg, Hamburg 1-0, Kingsley Komen with the goal, before then beating Hertha. Uh, no, drawing against Hertha in the league, 1-1. That is a disappointing game. Uh, to draw we drew again with uh, Douglas Costa with the goal let's just have a look at this you can see the shots my face might be in the way of some bits I do apologize you see I've now got a red border now some of you did pick up on the irony of the yellow and black border that was sort of intentional you know it looks like Dortmund I thought it'd be a bit ironic I was wondering if anyone would pick that up and you did well done those of you that did pick that up but I've gone for a traditional red Bayern Munich slash wooden frame thing which I thought was quite nice so yeah here we go we then managed to beat Hamburg 2-1 a couple goals from Douglas Costa they did get a consolation goal towards the end but that's Costa has been incredible this season better than expectations 11 goals and 16 assists in 19 starts and one sub appearance in the league 16 assists in the league wow we then beat Bremen 5-0 Hat-trick from Lewandowski, uh, Costa with another goal, and Kingsley Coman. Let's see how Lewandowski rounded off his hat-trick. This was, I think, the last goal of the game. 
Vidal into Douglas Costa, who got another assist, Lewandowski, with the finish to get a hat-trick. So then we drew 1-1 against Darmstadt. Bit of the disappointing game. Goetze did get a goal. He's been injured on and off lately. So has Muller. He's had so many injuries. And he's finally come back, but he's probably going to get injured again. The last two times he's come back from an injury, he's got injured in that same game. Maybe I brought him back a bit too early. We then beat uh, Nuremberg. Is that how you pronounce him? 1-0. Koric with his first goal for the club. Let's have a look at this. It was from a corner near post flick, I think, from a, a Ribery corner. Ribery's back as well. I did. I was actually tempted to sell him. I did offer him out for 15 million, but no one wanted him. So if I do continue this past his first season, then I'll probably look to sell him in the summer because he's old as well, like Robin. I'm, I'm, I want to build a young team. So, and then we beat uh, Cologne 3-1. Forgot the name for a second. I know Barbosa scored a, a pretty good second goal in this. It was a, a nice assist from Goethe as well. Vidal into Goethe, who got a couple assists in this game. And it's a lovely ball and a good finish from Barbosa, who's been very good this season. So we're playing Dortmund today. And this is the team I'm going with. Once again, I'm blocking out the, the corner. But you can see the, the positions here. Neue Alarm, Boateng, Bernat, Rode, Alonso, Vidal, Müller as a Ram Deuter. First game back for a while. He's not match sharp, so I will have to probably replace him at some point in half-time or in the second half. Goethe, Douglas Costa on the wing, we'll go with. And Lewandowski up front. Uh, I've got so much choice. It's crazy. I, I mean, I'm leaving Berahino out of the team altogether. And Kingsley Coman. And Koric. And Kirchhoff. And Benesha. And Kimmich. There's just... I've got a lot of strength in depth now. Despite selling a few players this season, there's still a huge number of players. Ribery's going to be on the bench. Gary O'Neill, of course, ready to come off the bench as well. Let's get on with this. Dortmund are rivals. We're playing them away from home. It's going to be a tough one. We beat them 3-2 at home, remember. Despite Dortmund's they're, they're third, they're 15 points behind us. But I know that in real life, they often you know, up their performance against Bayern Munich, despite perhaps having a, a weaker team most of the time. Playing Kagawa, Royce, Gundogan. They've got a very good team, though. Rodrigo up front as well. is. I remember him from a few years ago. He was a, a real star striker. Uh, I remember signing him for West Ham on FM12 and he was fantastic. Okay, let's pick up where we last left off. Let's go for that one. Assertive. Boom. Please hit the like button if you're enjoying this series. It'd be much appreciated. Oh, a free kick to Dortmund. And Neuer comes out, the sweeper keeper that he is, with his broomstick. He'd probably be good at Quidditch, wouldn't he? Douglas Costa down the wing. Whips it in. Oh, it's a mistake from their keeper, Berkey. Who, who's he? Don't even know who he is. He must be their backup keeper. And he's had an absolute shenanigans there. Douglas Costa whips it in. It's, it should easily be picked up by the keeper. But Lewandowski, that was on a plate for him. Like a slice of ham. Dortmund over the top. Vidal does very well to, to get into that. Uh, but they're still on the ball here with possession. Gundogan, Rodrigo, Kagawa, Neuer saves. Well done, Neuer. Whipped in, knocked away by Rode in the... I, I could have signed a, like a world-class defence midfielder, but I couldn't really find one for... I, oh, I didn't actually show you the, the budget that I had. On the last day of the transfer window, the board gave me £120 million to spend, which is why I signed Berahino. I was trying to sign, you know, I'd put in bids for Messi, Ronaldo, all that lot, but rejected, obviously. It's not enough. Uh, and I thought, Berahino. I was just looking around the Premier League at players, and I thought, well... I, Let's have a go at him. He's young. He's got the potential to be a star striker. And I've got the money to spend, so I might as well go for it. So I'm giving him a go. It's nice to have a couple of English guys in here. Berahino and Gary O'Neill in the team. Good tackling by Dortmund there to, to get rid of the ball. And here goes the Armenian chap running through. And no, road back pass. Rodrigo, brilliant save by the keeper. And it's over the bar from Kagawa. Muller's not playing very well on the, the Ramdoita position. Which is a bit of a shame. Bernat does well there. Douglas Costa, Lewandowski. Goetz should have scored. He's finishing does let him down occasionally. He's only got three goals this season, I think. So it's 1-0 uh, at half time. I'm going to say don't get complacent. Let's see if that works. It's, always, it's a bit of a bad omen when you use that sometimes. But I'm going to give it a go. Muller's going to come off for Barbosa. He's going to, going to play as an inside forward. Goetz is also very tired. Coming back from injury relatively recently. So Thiago is going to come on for him. Can we hang on to this? Let's just slow things down a bit. Lower tempo. Retain possession. And keep hold of the ball. That is the key here. Highlight then. 
Is it going to be a chance for us? Tiago back to the captain. Alarm. Alarm. Enter road. Tiago. Vidal. Nice play. Lewandowski should have scored and finished the game off. Noyes had a good game on an 8.3 today. Last substitute then. Alonso's going to come off for Gary O'Neill. He's going to play as a ball-winning midfielder. We've got two ball-winning midfielders in there in road and O'Neill. Come on, Gary. Finish this game off. Uh-oh. We've got a couple of minutes to survive here. Lewandowski wins the ball back. Tosta. Lewandowski finish it. He couldn't miss that. The keeper didn't come out. And it's 2-0. We've won this game. 34th goal of the season for him. He's, he's the one that won the ball back. Puts in a bit of a shift as well, he does. Good old Roberto. And then, then a lovely... What, what was that? Like a... I don't know. Well, he finished it anyway. It was a strange sort of double kick weird thing. This is surely the end. There we go. We've beaten Dortmund for the second time this season. Boateng, man of the match again. He's regularly man of the match for me. He's the only centre-back. And he's putting in so much hard work at the back. 10 tackles, is that? Interceptions, 22. 14 headers, 1. And a 9.0 rating. Phenomenal. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It is Youth Intake Day. And I'm excited because, you know, what wonderful players can Bayern Munich produce is this guy, Siku Traore, uh, who has a three-and-a-half star potential. He's a midfielder. And Felix Dickman, that is not, he's not a good player. So this is the youth candidate team. There's not, I mean, there's only Traore really. And then the next best chap is a left midfielder. So it's a little bit disappointing. It's not the most wonderful time of the year. So it's Champions League time away against Seville. We got a good draw in the Champions League, to be fair. And the Champions League is the only competition where we've lost a game this season. That 4-2-2 against Arsenal. If only I'd changed my tactic one game earlier. I'd, I'd have been unbeaten the entire season. It's a bit unfortunate. If we only if we go on to win everything and only have lost one game, that'd be so frustrating. I've not been completely unbeaten on Football Manager for an entire season for a while, so I've made some changes. Uh, Baz Tuber's coming into the team. Let's see how he does in the ball playing defender role. Keeping Boateng on the bench just in case he has an absolute disaster of a game. Lahm and Alaba. I'm playing Lahm because Jedvac can't play. He's ineligible. He's already played in the Champions League for Dynamo. Gary O'Neill's unregistered. So Kirchhoff's playing alongside Alonso. Vidal, Koric, the young Croatian in attacking midfield. Komen on the left wing. Müller, going to give him another go as the Ramdois. And Lewandowski staying up front. I've got Berahino on the bench, probably to come on for him. Barbosa could come off the bench as well. Ribri as well. Thiago Bertrand, Goetze and Ulrich, the keeper. He's not played a single game. Neuer is the only player this season to play every single game. It's the most wonderful time of the year. They're playing a 4-4-1-1. They've got Reyes up front, uh, in attacking midfield. Old school name. He's 32 now. And Gramiro up front. He's a dangerous player, Kevin Gramiro. Can certainly score goals. Okay. Get my assistant to do the uh, team talk today. Let's see how we do with a slightly weaker team to normal. Made a few changes. It's still a very strong team though. Be nice to get a few away goals and kill this tie off early on. As I probably won't show the second leg. I'll just skip ahead to the next round. But obviously we, we could possibly go out. Which would be a disaster for us. Especially against Seville. Who are a team we really should be beating. But they're through here. And it's turned round the... Well, it's actually turned wide by their player. I've made Neuer pass it out to the fullbacks, by the way. It's another change I made with this tactic. And it seems to work well. That's the red card, surely. Terrible tackle on Lewandowski from behind. And it's a red. Off you go. See you later, sonny boy. Now we have to take advantage of our one-man advantage. Kirchhoff into Vidal. Back to Alaba. What's he going to do here? Run in field. Into Vidal. Into Lewandowski. Nice play. Müller. Sensible play. We're just passing it around. Keeping possession. They're going to play defensive now, aren't they? Can we break them down? Coman's through and he scores. Kingsley Coman. Fourth goal of the season for the young Frenchman. Nice play from us. Really good. Lots of passes. Koric with the assist. Two young players working well together. I'm enjoying my young team. Obviously got the experience of Lam, Boateng and Alonso and a few others like Vidal as well. But it's great to have some youngsters performing well for me this season. Uh-oh, we've given the ball away. Here goes Gamero. He's through and he's hit it wide, fortunately. I'm actually going to change it to attacking now. And we're just going to mix it up a bit in terms of passing. Turn up the tempo. 
try and get a couple of goals. They've actually had more shots than us so far this game. They're still dangerous, despite being down to 10 men, and they've actually equalised. Ah, Gamero with the goal. Kevin. Muller once again having a poor game as the Ram Deuter. Maybe Ram Deuter just doesn't work in this tactic. May have to, to change his role in the second half. Lahm into Vidal. Goetze over the top for Muller. What's he going to do here? He's crossed it in. It's cleared, but it's Koric scores his second goal for the club. The young 18-year-old Croatian finding the back of the net. Nice stuff from him, actually. It's cleared, and he just takes advantage of a misplaced header and fires it across to keep a great finish from him. An assist and a goal for him today. Brilliant stuff. We could be playing a lot better. I'm actually going to take... No, I'm going to play Muller as... We're playing as an advanced playmaker on the right-hand side. Just change it up a bit. I might put him up front and take off Lewandowski a bit later. Lewandowski's not having a good game, actually. I'm going, I'm going to make the change now. Oh, wrong way around. Muller's going to go up front. Lewandowski will come off for Ribéry, actually. Uh, no, not Ribéry. He can't really play on the right very well. I'll put Barbosa on. And we're playing as an inside forward, just like normal. Alonso is very tired today. I'm going to take him off for Thiago. He's going to play very deep deeper than actually no we're, we're put Vidal back we're playing as a register and Thiago can play as deep line playmaker in the middle okay a highlight at last it's been a bit of a boring half and it's over the top are they going to get another goal here oh it's turned wide by now I think it was going wide anyway whipped in knocked away just about come on Barbosa clears it up the pitch to Muller who does well to win it but they've won it back and Salam confidently passes it back to Neuer. Last substitution of the game. Bastiv is actually on a 7.2, so he's, he's done okay today. Barahino's going to come on for Muller, who's just not really done much today. He's going to play as an advanced forward. Oh, he's, Barbosa! Oh, saved by the keeper. Thiago whips the corner in. Berahino! Oh, that was a chance. That was a chance for his first goal for the club. Really useful to get another away goal, just to really confirm this. Alaba does well, but they've won it back. Is this going to be a second goal? Oh, good tackle. But they're still on the ball. Gamero just fighting away there like a, a warrior up front. And it's whipped in, and it's 2-2. And that's disappointing because it's we've got two away goals, and we should win at home. But it's a bit of a disappointing result if we draw 2-2 against a 10-man Seville team. They've actually been the better team. More shots. More clear-cut chances. We've had a few half chances, but that's about it. And to be fair, they deserved a draw. Despite being down to 10 men, they worked hard. And that is disappointing. But we're still unbeaten in a long, long time since that Arsenal game. And we should still go through. I'm confident that we'll go through. I'm confident that I don't need to show that uh, second leg. I'll probably go through to the next... Uh, the next episode will probably be the next round, so the quarter final of the Champions League. Um, but thanks for watching, guys. Hit the like button if you haven't done so already. Say hi in the comment section below. Leave any thoughts about my signings, about anything to do with the series. Uh, that'd be much appreciated. And subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. That'd be fantastic. I will see you in episode 7. I do believe that is the correct number.